Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to another session of Singapore International Dynamic Speakers. It's an honor to have you with us today. Today's theme is steps that we can take to success. Ultimately, we all want to be successful. Wait, is there anyone who wants to be a failure? <laughs> I don't believe so. So what steps can we take to be successful? One of the first thing we must all do is learn not to criticize, condemn, or complain. It is easy for us to be victims. It is easy for us to play victim. It always happens to us. We never stop to think that maybe it happens for us. If we do not criticize, condemn, or blame, we will learn to see the opportunity for growth in whatever happens to us around and around us. That's the first step we can take towards success, learning not to criticize, condemn, or complain. Next, we must learn to be generous with praise. How often do we congratulate a peer, a colleague, a friend, a family member for their success? And I mean sincerely, praise them. Here in Belize, we will say, gas them up or big them up. Make them feel good about something small, no matter how insignificant it is. When you compliment others, it makes them feel good about themselves. It makes them want to do more. And in turn, they will do the same for you. It's always good for you to compliment others. Be generous with your praise, but always be sincere with your praise. Be genuine and generous with your praise. Next, you will want to remember people's name. There is nothing more complimenting than someone remembering your name. You only met them for a minute or a second, and the next time you see them, they remember your name. How good does that make you feel? It works in reverse as well. You must train yourself to remember people's name. When you do this, it endears you to others. It makes others want to aid you, help you, and assist you along your journey if you can remember their names. Personally, this is something I struggle with. I can remember faces, but I have difficulty remembering names. So it's something I am working on personally, but I know it's a key step towards success in my journey. Next, you will want to be genuinely interested in other people. Oftentimes, we meet people and they're talking to us and we are, yes, you're right, okay. Ah, how nice. <laughs> we are just going through the motions. We are not really listening to what they have to say. We are not really interested because we have our own activities going on. We have our own tasks that we need to complete. But if we take a moment to be genuinely interested in others, we learn from them. We learn how we can assist them, and we learn what we can take away from them to help us grow. If you take the time to listen, pay attention to others, you cannot only help them grow, but you will actually learn something from them that will help you in your journey. Yes, it is tedious at times, but we must all take time to be genuinely interested in others. Yes, I know it's easy for us to be the dismissive of people we are not interested in, but be generous with your time. Be genuinely interested in others. Guys, we all know the story of Prince Charming and Sleeping Beauty. He's the guy that kissed the girl and made her wake up. We all know that story. But being charming is an invaluable trait. If you can be genuinely caring towards others, be sincere with them, that will endear you to them. 
never underestimate the value of being charming. Not creepy, charming. You can give compliments, genuine compliments. Ah, that's a nice shirt you have on today. Or, good morning. Something simple as being courteous is being charming. Oftentimes, we don't take the time out to be courteous. And that's the most easiest way for us to be charming. Good morning, good afternoon. Thank you, please. How often do we say these things to perfect strangers? You bump into someone in the street, you just keep moving. You don't say sorry or good morning. But being that, being that way will not help you on your way to, on your journey of success. You must be charming, be courteous. It's the easiest way to be charming, is to be courteous. One of the hardest things for us to do is to acknowledge our mistakes. But if we are going to be successful, we must learn to acknowledge our mistakes quickly. If we let our mistakes fester, we lose an opportunity for growth and the problem becomes greater. If we realize we've made a mistake, admit it quickly so that you so that we can all resolve it or you can quickly work on resolving the issue. Do not try to hide your mistakes. Own your mistakes. Mistakes are an opportunity for growth. And if others realize that you are someone who is willing to accept your mistake and take constructive criticism, you will find that most everyone will be willing to help you along your journey. But if you hide your mistakes and become defensive, it will have the opposite outcome. So guys, if you make a mistake, acknowledge it quickly so you can learn and move on. Be on common ground with others. That is important for success. We will always have disagreement with someone or others in our circle but we must find something that we can agree on at all times. There's always a point where we can agree with others. It is never all or nothing. It should never be that way. There must be compromises along the way. We do not get to have 100% of what we want, but we can have 90, we can have 80, we can have 70% of what we want, which is greater than having 0%. And that can only happen if we can find common ground with others. Do not be so ground or entrenched in your position that you are unwilling to compromise. Create win-win scenarios. And that can only happen if you can find common ground with others. You must also be willing to make others feel important. Yes, we all want to be the center of attention. We all want to be the star of the show. But there are times when you will be best served by letting others step into the spotlight. Share acknowledgement. Most of the time, we are a part of a team. Share the praise for success. Do not take all the credit for yourself. Acknowledge others that contributed to the success. That is important on your journey because when you are willing to share praise, when you are willing to share recognition for a job well done, others will be more inclined to work with you. Others will be more inclined to assist you. So it's important for you to be willing to share recognition, share praise. These are the steps that we must take for us to be successful. In closing, for us to be successful, we must learn not to criticize, condemn, or complain. We must be generous with praise. Remember people's name. It's very complimenting when you do so. Be genuinely interested in others. Do not be dismissive just because you 
do not know the person. Be charming. The easiest way to do this is to be courteous. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Acknowledge your mistakes quickly. Acknowledge your mistakes quickly. It's difficult to do, but if you do, you can make, take corrective measures move, and move on and grow from the experience. Find common ground with others. Do not be in, so entrenched in your position that you're unwilling to compromise. Always be willing to find common ground with others. And finally, make others feel important by sharing the praise and recognition for a job well done with them. These are the steps that we can take to be successful. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, welcome again to Singapore International Dynamic Speakers. Today, we have a very interesting meeting for us as we will be taking time to self-reflect on our journey. Where have we been successful? And why were we successful? Have we continued to practice those traits or habits that made us successful? Or have we somehow forgotten what brought us to the dance? We build on our successes by keeping current. If we are not current, we tend to forget what got us here. When I started to cycle, I remember getting up at 5 a.m. every morning and doing 10 to 12 mile rides. Eventually, I was doing 20 to 30 miles ride. And finally, I was competing and I was placing. And after winning a few races, I didn't feel as though I needed to get up at five in the morning anymore. I'm already winning races. And without exercise, without practice, I wasn't winning races anymore. I forgot what took me to the dance. I forgot what made me successful. I felt I was already winning races, so I was good. No more need, no need for me to continue training. And it's only when I started to lose races, then I realized, ah, I need to be consistent with my workout. I need to be consistent with my routine. I need to remember what brought me to the dance. Take a moment, reflect on some of your successes. What made you successful? Was it because someone gave you a helping hand? Was it because you went the extra mile? The teacher gave you an assignment, but you did the extra reading, so you got an A plus on that test? What made you successful? Did you get a promotion at work? Was it because you went to dinner with the boss? Or was it because you did most of the work and you were reliable? What made you successful? Guys, we will be going into the table topic session. That's an impromptu speaking opportunity for two minutes, give or take 30 seconds. At the one minute mark, you will be given, you'll be shown a green background. At the one and a half minute mark, you'll be shown the yellow background. And at the two minute mark, you will be shown the red background. At that time, you have 30 seconds to wrap up your impromptu presentation. Any questions? Then into the fray. Your first A plus, the first time you had a perfect score on a test paper, how did you feel and who did you thank, if any? Your first A plus, how did you feel? How did it make you feel and who did you thank, if anyone? Anya. This is a difficult question to answer because I am always being at the top of my class. So that's kind of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I have been the topper since uh, pre-KG. I don't know what it's called in the US, but here it's called nursery and prep. <laughs> Thank you for that, uh, Sajid. And uh, the first A plus was uh, when I was three. 
and i didn't really realize what it meant i just keep hearing stories of it now that uh, my father was very proud of me and some of some of his friends or uh, some of his colleagues referred to him as ananya's father and the, he is a very well known person in the aluminum uh, mining industry and uh, for him it was a new experience to be referred to as someone else's relative someone else's father instead of by his own name and that was when he felt very proud of me and i think uh, that is what has driven me to keep trying and trying and getting better and uh, coming back to like what i think i have lost along the way i think i have lost the uh, the zeal to be spontaneous i try too hard and i need to like take a step back be more casual and which is where i think these uh, table topics really do help so yeah thank you edward back to you excellent excellent <laughs> When was the last time you made someone smile and how did you do it? When was the last time you made someone smile and how did you do it? TM Sajay. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster from the day, Mr. Hadward and all Toastmaster fellow. And it's also my great pleasure having this opportunity to be along with you and giving me the topic to speak about. Okay, first of all, being a teacher, I should appreciate uh, uh, students like Ananya for getting more appreciation and improvement in the journey towards. Okay, of course, the topic, uh, our TMOD Toastmaster of the day was talking about was really interesting. And the points I <laughs> take down here to down on the notes, the points we need to keep in mind for getting for the success we want to be. Anyway, yeah, making others smile is maybe perhaps one of the most thing, one of the important thing we can do in our life. Making others live, enliven others, live and enliven. Similarly, make them enjoy, make others enjoy. By what means? Okay, at the last time, okay, at, at, at the last place, the now it is seven o'clock. Okay, just one hour before, I had a walk with my little one, yeah, outside, and just to have it, had a small, small coffee and something with it. Because this going outside is also not usual right nowadays, yeah, because most, most of the time still it is under lockdown or lockdown is not completely taken off. So uh, that was the last moment, and we had a little football <laughs> inside the home and, and the courtyard. Okay, that is what the last the little, the, the moment we just now the first look. Anyway, over to you. I'm giving the opportunities to all others also. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Excellent job. Tell us of your last milestone accomplishment and who helped you along the way tell us of your last milestone accomplishment and who helped you along the way toastmaster angela thank you very much for that question edward my last milestone was doing a workshop on writing a speech and I did it as part of Speechcraft for Tampanese West and the former president and current VPE, the trouble is these people keep changing jobs and I, I usually my phone contact list is six months behind because I'm constantly updating it but usually by the time I get round to update it, I've lost track. So I'm not sure what his current position was. I think he was the previous president. He's now the VPE. Anyway, he helped me by being ready to receive me when I 
I checked in half an hour in advance and we went through my slides together and then we practiced getting me to appear in front of the slides, which you have to do by clicking at the, the bottom where it says turn on the video, then it says choose background, then you get a line across the top and you click on advanced and then you do something else which I think is share and share or something like that the share up on the left and share down on the right and you pick you pick the slide and then all of a sudden the slides appear behind you and you are in front of them in a little picture in the corner of the screen and it was the second or the third time I'd done it but we had to go through it three or four times to get it right and to get it up to speed, not be saying to each other, what do I do now? Don't you do that, try that. No, it doesn't work. Yes, it does work. And then when everybody turned on 20 minutes later, it just went through clockwork. And of course they didn't know that the two of us had just worked it out 10 or 15 minutes earlier. So that was a great triumph. And I, I hope to repeat that so that I can put it in my repertoire. Thank you for giving me that lovely question. Back to you, Edward. Excellent, excellent, Angela. Yes, we must always remember who helped us along the way. When was the last time you were in an argument and were you able to find a common ground? When was the last time you were in an argument and were you able to find a common ground? Danny. Oh, yeah. You mean yes. who? Yeah, who? Who was the last man uh, uh, argued with me? Yeah. Yes, and were you able to find a common ground with that person? Okay. You find. It's, uh, let me think. <laughs> it's about. Uh, uh, the three months ago, yeah, I remember I have uh, this uh, the strong discussion. Maybe I think this uh, debate with my wife and it's about my uh, children's education. Yeah, uh, because uh, I, I yeah I think the total the common goal is to help my son to study learn, but I want to improve. Uh, I want to teach him. Uh, is not teach him. I want to give uh, uh, company him to study, but my wife uh, didn't agree with me, and uh, so we, we. I think maybe the children is studying, but we, uh, me and uh, uh, my wife and I, and uh, always discussed uh, the many things and how to learn is about the such things. So <laughs> I think uh, maybe. We didn't have a common, and we argued. And uh, I, I think this uh, maybe this uh, not not the best thing. But uh, maybe ask uh, discussing and uh, arguing, and I, I think uh, maybe we can have some common about uh, my son's education. Uh, yeah. I, so so sometimes I think uh, maybe the discussion, the argue and uh, arguing. Is not the best thing, and uh, because making we can open the mind and uh, and discuss it. Maybe if we must, uh, we all keep the silence. Maybe we, we just uh, don't understand each other and don't uh, have the more uh, uh, common. So uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's the uh, last the argument argument. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Well done, well done, Danny. Yes, those are the most difficult arguments to have with a spouse. You both want to be right, so it's difficult to find a common ground. But for there to be success, we must always try to find common ground. Yeah, yeah, you can say <laughs> Were you, sorry. The last time you were on a team and you and the team had successfully completed the task assignment or competition, did you take all the praise 
or did you share it with your team members? The last time you were on a team and the team successfully completed the task event assignment, did you share the success with your teammates or did you keep it all for yourself? Mike. Oh, I think uh, as a team recently, it's just uh, as a two master club member team, uh, we we belong to Angela Lansbury's team. <laughs> uh, the last of time uh, we made new members to make some speech and and I feel very challenged for the new members and every time I, I want to uh, uh, achieve, uh, achieve, achieve this events um, but every time i felt challenged and not easy to to do this but this team gave me a lot of uh, give me a lot of uh, lots of um, suggestion and uh, um, give me a port, uh, give me uh, give me power to make it uh, to make it uh, better so uh, that's that's my my feeling about the recently uh, recently team 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 help help me uh, and because my English is not perfect so so I just uh, see, see this thank you excellent excellent job Mike excellent job Mike when we are on a team and it's successful, we all want to be the one, to be the MVP, to be the Michael Jordan, the LeBron James, the Tom Brady of the team. We all want all the credit for, for the success, but it's important for us to share success with others. Always be willing to compliment and acknowledge those who help made the team successful. Guys, regrettably, we are at the end of the table topic session. I hope you all enjoyed it, but we will be taking a 10 minute break as we get ready to move into the prepared speeches of the evening. <laughs>